Hello, I have something to share with you today and I have no idea how this is gonna go. I just am really excited. Um, so there is a small collection of fountain pens that I was gifted by my father recently and by small I mean there's actually 16 of them and I haven't even been able to identify all of them. So if you're a fountain pen connoisseur that somehow ended up here, I really, really hope you're going to help me with this, um, with identifying these. So I have no idea how to start and I'm just jumping in. I've used this little uh, Hobonichi, um, this is actually my everyday carry and my everyday journal. I've used it to, to try um, writing with some of them, so not all of them are inked but I will try to show you the ones that are. So let me just jump into this and sorry for kicking the stand, I'm not um, in my apartment at the moment, I'm at my parents for a while so I'm filming there. Let me start with this one, I think this is a waterman yes it said a waterman, I've inked this one up it's still writing, uh, but unfortunately it's clogging up a lot, so I don't think I'll get it to write right now. Here, let's see, maybe on the back. Yeah, it's it's not currently working, but I inked it up before, so it's in a rough shape. A lot of them are, and many of them haven't been used in a while, so they're clogged up, but they are functional, they just need some um, servicing, some I don't know, they need some help. There's a few pelicans, this one is one of them. I think you can see perhaps the little etching of a pelican here. Maybe you cannot. I don't think I've tried inking this one up, it's... I think this is a piston filler or a vacuum, I'm not exactly sure about the terminology at this moment. I only had a piston filler Twisby and a converter one so far, so I'm really new and, and learning and very excited about all of this. So those are two. Then there's this one. This one says white feather, and I have at least two of them because this one is a white feather as well. Um, at least as far as I understand them. I've never heard of them before, but this one that came with a box, I found it on eBay and it seems to be a nice pen. Um, I want to say they're all vintage, but I'm not sure what the time frame really is. This one is unfortunately a little bit rough around the edges as well. But I really, really like it. It says made in China and it has some writing here in Chinese. Not exactly sure you can see it. So, and it says hero here. And this one I found somebody is selling it on eBay, so I know that it's, it's the one that's originally here. So, those two are white feather because one of them says so on a cap this one says white feather on a cap and the other one is the one that comes with the box that says white feather so that's how I learned about it and then I have this one this is actually a um, promotional pen it's it came with a it's actually one of those you know souvenirs that come with um, that are that are kind of oh I'm, I'm a bit excited, I should uh, hold my horses. So it's um, Galenica was, and my father informed me of this, um, sort of factory, and I think they were in pharmaceutics. Um, and so this is like a promo pen, pen that they gave away. And this one is still functional. We've inked this up and it's working, it's writing well. Um, so yeah, and it says Galenica here as well, so this one comes with 
with a matching box as well. I'm trying also to go through them a little bit faster so this doesn't last a long time. I also want to show you two other things that I got. So let's keep moving. Oh, I'm getting used to the new setting. Then this is um, a box with a normal pen with a not a gel pen but a regular pen and um, it's a set with a fountain pen again we haven't tried this one my father helped me inking some of those um, and it has written inside its former uh, owner who was a relative so I hope it's not a problem that you saw that I hope it, no, nobody will mind that then this is another pretty one this one is all I think this one is yeah this one is also uh, what I would call a pistol piston filler so this is how you fill it but I, I didn't try inking those up yet because they are a bit, bit older and a bit potentially sensitive so I'm gonna do that it has an inscription here it says pelican so this is a pelican as well and again I'm not sure about the model if you know it I've seen it before please let me know this is also a pelican um, yes also a piston filler and I'm just so happy to have my own collection right now um, this is their famous cap I absolutely love this one I love the color um, what about this one this one is this one says Rex pen here I don't know if I can get it to focus I don't think you can see the etching inscription that says a Rex pen again I still ha didn't have a time didn't get the chance to to google that so I don't know what that means and I'm not sure about this one it might be one of um, a pen that is um, for a single use and finally this is I would say another pelican given the cap but I'm not entirely sure because it's not it's not it doesn't say pelican anywhere it doesn't have the etching on on top of it so maybe it's just a similar cap and this I think might be a single use as well but I haven't really inspected it closer and then there are a few more this one came with the original box another really really beautiful one it has this M on the cap I'm not entirely sure what it is and I think this is a converter one. Oh no this is a eyedropper no 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 it's a vacuum one and I've inked this one up and it does write um, I think it writes very very fine. Let's see. This is a very yeah, it takes some time to get the flow going, but it does really work well. And they are all inked with um just a viv everyday dye mine salamander because I've only I've traveled to Croatia from Sweden and I've only um, had space in my luggage for one ink so this is the one that I brought so they are all linked with that one I don't know I think I didn't show you this one some of them are similar this one should be 
pelican as well or no it doesn't have the etching of the cap so again I'm not entirely sure so some of them are similar very simple clean um, this one has partially a clean demonstrator this part you can see some residue of ink so all of them need cleaning but they are actually in pretty good shape and I am keeping my favorite for last, which means there are three more pens. I will just really, really quickly show you because I don't know anything about these. Um, I don't think I've inspected them closely. I haven't tried inking any of those. This one's this one is a Schaefer. It says so here, so that's also nice. I've also always wanted to own a Schaefer. Um, let's see. Another system that I've never had before. I have no idea whether I can even re-ink this, so I haven't tried yet. So I'm very happy to be able to say that I have a Schaefer in my collection, though. Um, this one with a gold-toned cap. It's a little bit more difficult to unscrew the cap. Um no inscriptions on the nib and it's in a little rougher shape the the plastic is um, damaged here a little bit and this is also a piston filler a lot of residue ink that needs to be washed off it's just so cool I am just so happy with them I really really am it really doesn't say anything on this one though so I don't know what it is but it's a beautiful pen and I do hope I can get them all. This one is to work. This one is a platinum. It says platinum with a G. Um, I'm sorry if I'm moving in and out of focus. I'm uh, so enthralled by the pens that I just keep staring at them. It says made in England. I love them. I mean, this one is a converter. And then finally, here is one that I've been really excited to get. I've, when I've, I saw this one, this is my favorite one. So this is a Pelican. This is one I have always wanted in my collection. It's a bit rough around the edges and it has a little, um, little crack in the plastic here. Or rather, it's chipped off a little bit. It's a piston filler or the one that you unscrew. But I love the color and I love this body. I love it. It's it's stunning. It's a bit older. It has this their beautiful nib. It won't focus, will it? Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I'm keeping this one for when I gather the courage to try to see if it still works. Um, and even if it doesn't, and even if they don't. Uh, many of them don't work. I really don't mind. I'm just really, really happy. Um, with my collection, with my little collection of fountain pens. And then I'll put that aside and just show you another little thing that I got. Um, this is a ledger book. And I absolutely love this. It has a beautiful retro cover with... it's. I don't know if this is a marbled cover, but just one of those tiles and it's beautiful. I don't intend to do anything or craft with it. I'm just gonna keep it because it's so beautiful. It has this seal here, uh, inscriptions, some stamps on it, um, a beautiful handwriting. I'm sorry for shaking. And then a lot of what appears to be unwritten ledger paper. The binding is also intriguing. Um, may have even been reused given the binding and this is the end of the seal so those are all just uh, beautiful stunning amazing and then I have this cover that you've already seen has now finally gotten a relative and I've waited for this A5 cover for literally two years I ordered it during the pandemic and finally it's a scout so it's not just a Maverick as my old one. Um, this is a Scout, which means I think it's a creme brulee leather on the inside. I have a photo from a wedding I went to this weekend. 
here and the Shake Sparrow um, letter inside and this is a cascade so that's second to last thing no 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 that's the last thing I wanted to show you um, yeah it appears to be um, and it's already been a long video so that's what I wanted to share with you I wanted to show you this this new collection I have of fountain pens that I absolutely adore and yes it was one more thing that I wanted to show you and it's this stamp set with beautiful vintage numbers that I can't wait to also ink up and start using so I hope this was as exciting to you as it is to me and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye